Well, once again, um, illegal immigrants ruin it for everyone else because they have a sob story, and therefore that means they don't have to pay attention to international U.S. and Mexico law and just come across the border and receive all these benefits and go into this great country that we have here. Which, why are all these people so desperate to come here if we live in a white capitalist uh, patriarchy, as feminists and uh, SJWs constantly claim? Why are so many uh, non-white people desperate to come into a white supremacy. I mean, that makes no sense. None of them able to answer me on that, but let's get back on track, shall we? Um, yeah, so it, uh, they, they think they have a sob story, and therefore that allows them to just cross borders whenever they want. Um, and they will claim, well, we're, we're seeking asylum, we need help, we're being persecuted on our land, we're being targeted, we're in danger, we're in rivers. Like, that's okay, that's fine. We have asylum law for exactly that purpose. Uh, asylum law, if you guys could bother to fucking read Penny the Cage, you guys are fucking retards. Um, what asylum law is, um, if you are being persecuted by, or whatever those reasons I just mentioned, you're in danger, being persecuted, whatever, whatever, you can go to the next country bordering your country that is safe, and you can go and seek asylum there. But that's not what these fucks are doing, is that? No, no, it's not. No, and no one can tell me otherwise, because that's simply not the fucking case, because these people came all the way from Central America. They skipped several countries to get to the U.S. What a coincidence, they didn't want to stop any of those shithole countries between Central America and U.S. What a coincidence, I'm sure that's all just a big fat fucking coincidence. So asylum law doesn't apply to them, no, because they're not following it correctly. We wrote it down for a fucking reason, for people to follow it. Just because you have a sob story doesn't mean, oh, asylum law doesn't apply to me, I'm just gonna go to the wealthiest, strongest country that I can get to and then receive all the benefits of living in such a great country, but not pay into it because I'm illegal and I'm not, I'm not paying taxes for all the the, uh, the society, the goods and services, whatever, whatever. No, that's not how it works. That's completely not how it works. And yes, I'm a libertarian who does who does completely agree with borders. Borders is completely in line with libertarianism. There is nothing in ideology that says that borders is bad. I disavow the radical libertarians who like, oh yeah, if we just keep, get rid of the welfare state, then borders doesn't matter. It's a surefire way to throw your country in the shithole. But some of them are anarchists and don't even believe in countries in the first place. But that's a topic for another time. I bash them another time because they're such a fringe radical minority. I don't really care about them right now. What I care about are these fucks. <laughs> Screensaver came on. Um, they are trying to storm the border fence forcing U.S. agents to fire tear gas and rubber bullets at them. Wow, what fucking assholes. Tensions increase between border agents and migrants on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I would assume so. If you have hundreds of, of people, if you, have, you have no idea what diseases they have, if they're terrorists or cartel members or other violent criminals hiding among them, you have no idea because you can't check them because they don't bother doing paperwork or going through a actual entry, they're just storming the fence. You have just no idea. You have no idea who these people are. You're supposed to believe liberals and like, oh, they're just people trying to improve their lives. They're just people with children. Yeah, some of them are, I'll give you that, because there were children. I'm assuming the children are not cartel members or terrorists. Some of them are legit. That doesn't matter though, because we can't tell the difference. We have to keep this country safe. We have to assume that, hey, these people don't want to tell us who they are, they might be dangerous. They're not following the law. Get back in line with everyone else. All of the thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions of legal immigrants who follow the paperwork to become citizens or have a work visa, student visa, whatever type of uh, entry they want. Do it like everyone else. All of them did it. Millions of people. We take hundreds of thousands, if not, I think it's like a million, Immigrants every single year. Legal immigrants every single year. Why can't they do it that way? Why, why, why can't they go to Mexico? Mexico apparently is not a shithole. If you call Mexico a shithole, then liberals get mad at you for being racist. Why can't they go seek asylum in any of those other half a dozen Central American states that they pass in order to get to the U.S.? All these questions, the mainstream media, nor any liberal I talk to can answer these questions. These are very simple questions related to the caravan. These are not hypothetical, uh, you know, non-tangible, 
like big brain questions. They're just basic questions about like what is going on here and they can't answer it. They're just like, no, borders are racist. We should let them in and they should just be able to do whatever they want in this country. Uh, no, that's not happening. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad the U.S. agents fire tear gas and murder bullets at these guys. These people have got to get to their fu thick fucking skulls that no, this is not how you act. Just because you have a sob story doesn't mean you can just storm the border, storm a border fence, and go wherever you want. No, absolutely not. No one has the right to do that. People will call me racist. People have called anyone who believes in borders racist. Well, it doesn't matter who they are. I don't care if there's a bunch of white people doing the same thing. Hypothetically, let's, let's say Canada had some problems with a bunch of uh, migrants storming the border in, I don't know, Montana, for example. I would support this 100% the exact same way. You can quote my video word for word. I do, I do the exact same video. The principle in the action is incorrect. It doesn't matter who they are. I don't care who they are. Funny that people call this uh, supporting borders racist, and if you're against all these poor, helpless migrants coming to the U.S., then apparently you're racist. Well, it's funny, because the, ex the exact same thing is happening in Europe. The exact same thing is happening in Italy, for example. All these migrants coming in, come over from the north of Africa, uh, storming Italy, and creating a whole fucking mess for them. You can just Google it. I know it's really hard for people to do, apparently. I, I do this flash. I, I found out that three-quarters of the population don't know how to do a Google search correctly. That's really sad. There's no wonder they're so fucking stupid. But side point, again, a topic for another time. Um, but what a coincidence that um, the people storming Europe, the people storming Italy from North, North Africa, they're not Hispanic. They're a completely different race. And yet, my stance on this issue is the same. Lots of people who believe in borders and believe in border security and believe in legal immigration system, their position is exactly the same. What a coincidence. It's like, it's like they don't care about what race of the person breaking the law, they care about the person break, they care about breaking the law. And it, it, it's like, it's like they're not racist and they don't care about the race. I, that, isn't that amazing? Man, I've been talking for like six fucking minutes straight and I haven't even gotten in the article here. I'm not gonna read word for word, take too long, you guys can read it for yourself. But here's an interesting tidbit. Mexico vowed Sunday to deport 500 migrants who tried violently and illegally crossing the border. Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean Mexico is racist? They're deporting these poor migrants. According to radical liberal logic, Mexico is now racist. But wait a second. They also believe that only white people can be racist because racism is prejudice plus power. And white people have all the power in the world. So therefore, Mexico can't be racist. But yet, but yet they are racist because they're deporting migrants. So which one is it, liberals? No liberal ever ever in the history of liberalism, <laughs> can answer me that question. Their ideology is flawed in the fact that there is um, a break in their ideology, a break that doesn't make sense. There's two things that cannot exist at the same time, yet they are, because Mexico did in fact do this. Their ideology can't answer it. Why? Because their ideology is fundamentally flawed. And that's why I hate their ideology, and that's why I don't support their ideology. Again, if a liberal can somehow explain to me that non-white people can be racist and or that Mexico is not racist for doing this, then go ahead. My comments are open. They're not going to do it, though. <laughs> U.S. Border Patrol shot tear gas and rubber bullets at a group of migrants, including toddlers, as members of the caravan trying to storm the border. You know what? The liberal media and the radical uh, liberals are going to rag on the U.S. Border Patrol because they put toddlers in danger by doing this. That's what they're going to say. But you know what the actual truth is? It's a caravan to put the toddlers in danger. It's a caravan. Caravan's fault that these toddlers had tear gas and rubber bullets shot at them because they took the toddlers while trying to break the law. That's like someone trying to rob a bank with a toddler in the back seat of the car whenever he tries to do his getaway and the cops chasing him. He's high-speed pursuit and there's, there's a gunfight. They're shooting each other when they're driving. That's not, the, that's not the police's fault that the, that toddler is in danger when that person is committing the crime. No, fuck no. Same logic applies here. You are committing a crime with a toddler with you. You are responsible for putting that toddler in danger. That is on you, brown person who is fucking doing this, not the U.S. Border Patrol. I'm so fucking tired of people calling the U.S. racist because they're simply enforcing the law that every single other fucking goddamn country has on the, on the books. Every single other country does this. Mexico, in fact, is doing this. A non-white country is doing this. 
They started to use crowd control on Sunday afternoon when migrants tried to cut a hole in the concretia wire, whatever that means, uh, gap on the Mexican side of the fence. Uh, the tensions prompted the U.S. officials to close the crossing, stopping thousands of people traveling le le legitimately to, uh, between the U.S. and Mexico. So thanks a lot, you criminals, you illegal immigrants. You ruined it for everyone else. You ruined everyone else who was following the rules completely. They shut down the entire border crossing because of you fucks. You're inconveniencing other brown people. In fact, you want to put, put, the, put the race card on this. That just shows that crime doesn't pay. Oh, I, yeah. Crime doesn't pay, and uh, this action just doesn't work. No, I, I'm so glad that the U.S. Border Patrol did exactly this. This is exactly what needs to happen. This, this, this needs to happen every single time someone tries this for, like, years. Until people down in Central America with, ice, with an IQ of room temperature figure the fuck out... This is not how I should act. If I l need to seek asylum because I'm in danger, persecution from my government or from a cartel or something, seek asylum in the next boarding country doesn't have that problem. These people need to get through their thick skull. Apparently, tear gas and rubber bullets is the only way to get through to them because they are so fucking goddamn dumb. It's really sad that we have to do this. And I'm so sick and tired of this happening. People are fed up with this crap. We see, we see it happening in Europe, we see it happening in the US, we see millions and millions of illegal immigrants draining the system in this country, ruining it for so many other people. We're just sick and tired of it. Homeland Security Secretary uh, Kirsten Nielsen says you're not put up with lawlessness. Why is lawlessness, in quotation marks, like this isn't lawlessness? I, I love the, the bias of Daily Mail, which is a leftist UK publication. She puts, they put in quotations, you know, like, oh, this isn't really lawlessness. This, this is just her opinion that it's lawlessness. Are you, are, are you kidding me? God. And threatened harsh punishments on anyone who, uh, who, who, anyone who destroys federal property, endangers our frontline operations, uh, operators, excuse me, or violates our sovereignty. Man, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, British people in London who are getting stabbed and raped by um, illegal migrants that came from the Middle East and North Africa. I I'm sure they really wish that their Homeland Security equivalent did the exact same thing. As, as their daughters are being raped, at, at gunpoint they can't do anything because they're not allowed to own guns, but the, uh, but the illegal migrants can because they give them illegally because gun control doesn't work. I really wish, that they really wish, that their Homeland Security equivalent shot tear gas and rubber bullets people trying to storm the border oh but they didn't oh, because they're fucking pussies and now they are reaping the benefits of their horrible radical liberal policies but, but again europe is for another topic another time we're talking about this despite heightened tensions there mexico said they would not send military forces to control I, man they got exact number geez 7,417 migrants from a caravan currently massed in the U.S.-Mexico border. You know what? People criticize Trump because he sent all these troops, like, way, quote-unquote, way early because apparently these migrants uh, were, like, months out from the border. No, they're already there. Thousands of them are already there. Either they were inaccurate in their estimate of when they would get there or they were much faster than they anticipated because there are only thousands of people already storming the border. It's a good thing he sent those troops. It's a good thing he sent them when they did. Apparently they need them now because there's already thousands there. Look at this. Look, look at this picture. This apparently is a starved, persecuted, down on her luck, just the only thing she can do to survive, um, <clears throat> the only thing she can do to survive to, to, for her children, for herself, is to do this incredibly dangerous act. Look how fat she is. Look how fat her arm is. Her gut is hanging out of her shirt. She is not persecuted. She is not starving. She is not down on her luck. She is not struggling to survive. Apparently, she is doing really fucking well. Just look at her. Just Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me with this bullshit? Only for the crying children. Will someone think of the children? Yeah. Child, migrant girl, your, your mom is a complete irresponsible fuck who puts you in unnecessary harm because, again, her arm. Jesus Christ. Look at her gut. It's spilling out of her shirt. Apparently she wasn't that bad where she came from. She had plenty of fucking food. Are you kidding me with this bullcrap? Do you believe this shit? 
Look at these. Look at these Mexican police officers beating all these migrants. Is that is that racist? Are are you are you going to hear radical uh, social justice warriors and radical liberals call the Mexican government and the Mexican police racist for doing this? I, I, I'm waiting for those articles. It's not going to happen. But apparently, when Mexico does this, it's okay. Whenever we do it, apparently we're racist and we are upholding the white supremacist capitalist patriarchy that we live in. Do you see why their ideology makes no sense? Do you see why I poke fun of it all the time? It is so horribly inconsistent. It makes no fucking sense at all. It just, it literally makes no sense. The paradigm I told you earlier with how non-white people can't be racist, but yet Mexico is kicking out migrants, apparently that's racist too. Which one is it? It can't be both. The ideology makes no sense. My ideology makes sense. I say that border security is completely not racist and completely legit for anyone to do. And all people, regardless of race, can be racist in any shape, way, or form. Boom. Completely consistent with um, the events listed in this article. That reaffirms me that my ideology makes sense because I see something happening and it makes complete sense. And when you see radical liberals, ideology makes absolutely no sense. Again, completely different person because she's wearing, she's wearing completely different clothes. Really fucking overweight. H how is that possible? You've been traveling on foot from Central America for seemingly weeks and months. How are you this fat? Why are you carrying an American flag? You're not from America. You're not gonna be in America. Like, why is any of this stuff sh shit happening? Why are they running everyone else is completely calm? What is happening? Just, none of this makes any sense. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the rant here because I'm just gonna repeat myself over and over again, but you, you get the point here. I just need to poke fun at this because this is absolutely freaking ridiculous. This is the most Ridiculous shit. I, I mean, I say that a lot. This, this actually, truthfully, is not the most ridiculous shit I've seen, but it's pretty fucking ridiculous. And yeah, I know I curse a lot of this one. I'm trying to tone it back a bit. The last couple of videos of this one, I just let loose because these people are just so fucking self-entitled. And I hate entitlement. I see entitlement every day in various shapes and forms, either in person or on the internet. And it sickens me. It sickens me these people are so warped so brainwashed, they actually feel they are entitled to live in this country and reap the benefits of this entire country without paying a dime into it. I pay my taxes. I pay way too much in taxes for someone who makes the amount of money that I do. That's beside the point. Um, so yeah, I, I was born here. I pay taxes. I work my fucking ass off. I deserve to live in this country. They do not. No, I'm sorry. That's not being a jerk. They, they can apply for legal citizenship. They are hundreds of thousands of people from, from Central America who become legal citizens of, the, of this country every single year. They can do it like that. Just because, you, just because you have a sob story doesn't mean that, nope, the rules don't apply to me and I can just do whatever I want. No, absolutely not. I uh, am very interested to see how this um, situation continues. And I hope our border patrol responds the exact same way every single time.